Big boobs. We should just start with that. With a big titty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray. And it's Mike. And this is Talk About It. Hashtag, hashtag talk, talk About it. it. And the date today is the Thursday, 8th of December. Yeah. The Thursday, you know. The Thursday. Um, <laughs> the Thursday? The 8th of December, yeah. yeah. We are nearly at the end of the year. Um, yeah, nearly should... 2017, isn't it? Yep. Oh, you know what's fucked up? You know what's really fucked up what's about next up? year? Westworld's year, the next season of Westworld is coming out 2018, bro. Really? Yeah. Why are they taking so long? I don't know. What, does it take that long to like... Maybe it takes that long to... Because the, fush- the fucking special effects in Westworld special were effects amazing is very good, still. Yeah. They were very, very good, like movie quality levels. Yeah. Like, there was no times where I was like, oh, that looks, that looks pretty shit. And it might be because even, they use big actors Even when well. they done, like, Anthony Hopkins Young, it looked pretty good. Yeah, that looked on point, yeah. So, yeah, they do use they, big they actors. They use big so actors, so they have to work around that, yeah. And shit. Yeah. That's the yeah. problem when you have, like, a great series. Yeah. You don't get it as often as to the mediocre Two years, ones. though, fam. That is a long wait. Two so. years. That's not cool. Maybe, we'll probably be early 2018, to be honest. Hopefully. But... Whole the next year, no Westworld. So mm. at least well, Game of Thrones, isn't it? It's coming next year. Is it? Yeah. Does it come every year? Yes, fam. Okay, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> you should know this. I, I don't know these days, isn't it? Because sometimes of... just sometimes series take a break in the middle of a season for no good reason. Sometimes yeah. they take two years off. Like South Park took ages off. Yeah, South they Park. They just come whenever they schedule. want. Yeah. So I don't know what these series are actually doing yeah. out here. Like, there's no. There's no set template that these series always follow. Yeah. Sometimes they do just bullshit out of nowhere. And it comes out usually field. is every year around April, but I think next year it's coming out winter, so I think it's going to be like the oh, later winter. end of the year. Yeah, because yeah, it's winter now. Okay. Because yeah. um, winter's here still. Winter's here, it's official. <laughs> so Thrones coming next year. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, J. Cole's album's coming out tomorrow. We're going to be talking about J. Cole later on. Yeah, we listened to a couple of his tracks they released. Yeah. Um... So this podcast should be coming out on a Friday yeah. or the sat and then on iTunes on the Saturday, so No, it'll come out the same day. They both come out on Fridays now, yeah? Yeah. Well, it doesn't come out at midnight on Friday. No, I'll just try and put it out ASAP, innit? Oh. Alright. So it should be coming out tomorrow on the night. So if there's anything that happened within twenty four hours, then sorry, we missed it. Yeah. Uh wait till next week. So yeah, let's start off with um Childish Gambino. Basically I think he released the album the week before last week, didn't he? I think we was missed. it? I'm not sure was if it, it this was. Week? I'm not. I don't think it. I don't feel like it was this week because I feel like I, I saw it and I just. I knew he released a single. It. He released the the first single. Um, I forgot what. Me it and was. your mama. Yeah, yeah. I heard and that. And I didn't like it. We didn't like that. Uh, Did we even I review to talk it? About it? I wanted to talk about it, but then we decided not to. Because we, we just forgot like about it. it, and then it was, we just like there was no point bringing it back up in the week after because we didn't like it. So yeah. there was no point. And then the next single I just didn't listen to because I didn't like the first one. Oh, it came out thought, December 2nd. So that's, yeah, basically last week. I guess so. And so I just thought, you know, like, let me leave it alone until the album comes out and then I'll, I'll listen to it in its entirety and hear mm. what it's saying. And then I, I sat down to listen so to Jay it. So Jay messaged me yesterday. Yeah, I messaged you had yesterday. You, had you already listened to it? Or no, 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 no. I, knew, I, I listened to stuff on the, on the Thursday that we yeah, recorded. All right, so, so he messaged me yesterday um, when I was, uh, I think I was just leaving work or whatever, yeah. saying, listen to Charles Gambino's album. And I was thinking, this is guy serious. Like, after that garbage that we listened to already, and he was like, he's serious or whatever. So I was like, fuck it, let me listen to it, innit? So I went on Spotify, started listening to it, and I couldn't get past the first three tracks. Like, I listened to the first three tracks and I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling this at all. Let me just finish it tomorrow, innit? And then tomorrow came and then you messaged me, forget. Forget, forget it, yeah. innit? And I was like, thank <laughs> God, because I didn't think I could make it through. It's only 11 tracks, but I I just yeah. thoroughly did not enjoy that yeah. at all. Yeah, I skipped the first track because I already knew I didn't yeah. like it. And then I I like listened to the fir- the second track, kind of skipped through it a little bit to see if there was any parts that yeah. were gonna sound good. You and then I like realized it. no. <laughs> and then I went to the third track, skipped through that. I think that was that was also. I think there was one track that sounded okay, the zombies track, that sounded okay well, at then. certain parts. But then I got to the latter end and it was it was mediocre. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I give up. I'm not gonna like this album. Yeah. I was like, you know, you what? said that. Um, wait, whose album? 
was you saying that you will give it like the first three songs or whatever or the first? I think I just said in general. Yeah, in general, you just give the first, first three songs. If, if, it's, if it's crap from there, no, it was Wiley because I was saying you should listen to Wiley's oh, album when oh, it does come out. But yeah, it was just it just wasn't. Yes, it wasn't, I agree, fam. It, was, it wasn't good. Because the I thing mean, is, I know that Childish Gambino is extremely talented yeah, yeah. and he's very good at making music. But yeah. he's he was being very exper- experimental and he's trying something else, and that something else just doesn't. It's not my cup of tea. Doesn't vibe with me. Yeah, even though, I um because yeah. it's not shit music. That's the thing. Nah, it's some not, people will probably like yeah, it. Because when I was listening to it, I was thinking this is actually not garbage music. No, it's just it's, it's just, not my cup of tea. Just so not appetizing. Yeah, it was me. very experimental. Low, he was mixing around with different genres and stuff and it just wasn't music that I listened to yeah. um, and it wasn't music that I'm used to from Childish Gambino so after I was done with those three tracks I went back to his old stuff I listened to Sober I listened to Pop Thieves I listened to 3005 um, I listened to Because the Internet album and I just it, it made sometimes when you hear trash from an artist you got to listen to the good stuff to make you feel that bit more respect for them <laughs> again yeah. And I prefer when he's on that sort of vibe. Um, yeah, and I I think there's still hope for him in the future. This is yeah, just one project he's, he's trying yeah, out. Yeah, he's and he's that type of artist that I'd expect that from. Like, yeah. to try out shit. This yeah, is, I just this don't, is basically I don't his think Yeezus. this experiment works. Yeah, this is like his Yeezus. He's like his album of not giving a fuck and trying out some new sounds or whatever. Yeah. And I just feel like it's still enough. Work. I, I had to delete off my iTunes. Like, I don't even yeah. want any of them songs <laughs> popping up in shuffle by accident. I don't want to hear them again. I had to just delete that from my memory, delete off iTunes, never want to participate in this album again. Just pretend it doesn't exist. When the next album comes out, I'll give it another chance. And if it's on, you know, the same vibe, it's on the same vibe then, you know, it, forget. Yeah. All right, childish. We know, we had, we know we had a good gone. time. Yeah. <laughs> you had two good albums that I enjoyed. I didn't like the first one, didn't like the fourth one, and we just keep it moving. Yeah, um, I agree. Um, nothing special. Mm. Basically dead. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? We haven't even listened to all of the songs. So, so it could what, get maybe it's, it's it's amazing, but I, I doubt it. I doubt it. As <laughs> I well. doubt it. From the vibe I was getting. I doubt, I doubt it. it. Like three songs that I don't like in an album of 11, that's already on a bad like, yeah. percentage. Yeah. So, um, so I was going to firm it, but as soon as Jay was like, nah. forget it, I was like, it's like there's no point. I'm not, I'm not trying to force myself to listen to I things was trying I don't to, like. I, was, I, I forced myself to listen to those three tracks from because yeah. I wanted to actually like finish them. And but it was a I fucking struggle. It was, yeah, it was. It was a fucking struggle. It was. Was, just, it was. Like the vocals were all like. like throughout the whole EQ time down, listening, I was like, fuck very this subtle. album. Like, just fuck Jay for making me listen to this trash. <laughs> just it wasn't, wasn't this what it needed to be. shit. <laughs> But yeah, fuck that. Um, so Childish Gambino, you know, that album's dead. <laughs> uh, the next topic that I want to um, kind of touch on, you know, we might as well just get straight onto J Cole because it's going to tie into the next topic anyway. Flipping. So basically, yeah, J Cole, savior of hip hop. Uh, uh, <laughs> so okay. J, like Twitter went crazy. Um, like J Cole's back, basically. Uh, Flipping. You posted in the group chat, the reek is back. I no, think you meant, I meant to post to put the, the real, real is back. Yeah, I, I was thinking, put... what? Is he talking about reek from Game of Thrones? What? <laughs> what's he talking about? How put... is reek back? What, I meant to put the real up? I meant to put the real is back. But... I was expected to see Ramsey Bolton or something, <laughs> but As... instead it was a J. Cole thing and then I instantly clicked X oh, and got on with my day. No, I was basically <laughs> <laughs> I was like, not right now. No, <laughs> not but, right now. I, I think I maybe listened to I listened to like ten seconds or something. I was like, not right now, not right now, not this. Um, but yeah, basically, J Cole came out of nowhere, announced he's releasing an album on night for December, which is tomorrow, and he's he's recently released a track list. It's going to be ten tracks, but he released a documentary and it had two like little mini music videos in it. And two songs on it, so we're gonna review each song, and there's a lot of questions that stem from each of the songs. So the first song um, that I heard was "False Prophet." Mm-hmm. Um, That's the first song I listened to. Yeah, and that got a lot of reception, obviously because on the first verse he's blatantly talking about Kanye West. I I'd, I'd like to, I don't, mm-hmm. I'm not, I I don't like the people calling it dissing Kanye West because to me personally, in my opinion, it didn't feel like a diss to him. It didn't feel like he was. Um, plain right giving man a diss track or whatever it felt like he was slightly dissing him but it felt like it. I like the way J. Cole done it he done it in a more kind of 
step your game up um, way. A kind I of, respect you. A kind of, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You're, you're one of my role models and blah, blah. And I related to it a lot because anyone that knows me knows I'm a huge Kanye fan. He used to be one of my role models or whatever. And then recently, over the years, and especially recently, he's been just doing crazy shit in it. And um, um, and I've even spoke about it on the podcast where I think he's just, I think he's finished now or whatever. And then <laughs> it's like J. Cole was just talking to my soul when he was saying like, yo, like, it Maybe feels, that's why you feel it's about yeah, Kanye. Um, no, I feel like that's definitely about Kanye, fam. Like, everyone says it's about I Kanye. I think it could be about anyone. I don't think... It's 100% about Kanye, man. It could just Kanye, be a man. generic bars, you know, putting... Not generic, but, you know, just using his feelings that he has about certain artists and just putting that into an amalgamation and making a song. It doesn't have to be about a specific person. Well... Like basically, majority of the world thinks about Kanye. I yeah, think I feel the majority like majority of the world thinks something. I feel like it's about it's Kanye. You know, a lot of people I, are fucking <laughs> dumb, fam. Yeah, true. But I think it's definitely about Kanye. A lot of the like he he was saying stuff like um, you was my role model, and now it's hard to see your fall from grace. Um, is is hard to take or whatever. Like when when I, when he first started talking about it and saying uh you're not as good as as you think you are, whatever stuff like that. I thought he, I thought it could be very like um, hypothetical of what, of what of who he's talking about. But then when he started going in detail about things and saying um, uh, certain things like um, just a bunch of yes men around you, and then saying that that's you're, very hypothetical as well. Yeah, true. Of famous people and saying, yes men around him. but when he was saying like your recent music ain't as good as your old music, loads and shit. of famous people who like fit that mold as well. Yeah, I guess so. But like, when it when it all came all in all, this I think it's definitely about Kanye. Um, mm, I think definitely is a strong word that you can't fam. really use in this situation. <sighs> fam, you're gonna make me draw for rap genius. Yeah, and you're gonna look for things that support your theory. That's not real, you know, research. To be honest, what do you mean? Well, you need you, to you, you want to hear Jake say it from well. his mouth. Yeah, that then it's about Kanye. that then that is proof. Anything else, like other people spouting theories, isn't proof. That's just more opinions. The, that side when of he you. said something about ego in charge of every move and stuff like that, I felt like loads of rappers that. Are like of, that. But a lot of people say that Kanye's egos is and just like, loads of rappers. Loads of rappers have an ego. <laughs> yeah, these, well, are, that, these when, are things when, that, that, that could that apply to. When he tell us he's a genius, why well, it's clearer lately. It's been hard for him to look in the mirror lately. Yeah, that that seems very much That's Kanye, very Kanye. But that could apply to a lot of artists also. Hmm. Like it could, all those bars could probably apply to seventy percent of the artists out there. The yeah, but it's, it's it's a it's. I think it's definitely Kanye. Um, yeah, you can. Like, no, well, there was one bar. You should say where, I think it's Kanye. Definitely, yeah, I, think it's Kanye. I think it's definitely Kanye. Fair like, enough. I think it's definitely Kanye. Um, Fair enough. I think there was one bar where I feel like he gave a slice shot for um, Drake as well when he said well, something about ghostwriting. Cause I feel like any I mean, anytime right, I mean, any rapper says ghostwriter now, you just feel like it's for Drake. Yeah, it's just, well, it's not even just if I feel like it's for Drake. That's just what everyone's gonna say. Yeah, now. like that's just, so if you put ghostwriter in your bars, people are gonna automatically think Drake, and then Drake might feel some type of way about it. Um, but I've I liked the tasteful but he, he way. You can't feel some type of way about it unless he's gonna admit to the fact that you know other people are ghostwriting his bars. Like you got a. Like if the shoe fits, then wear it. But if mm. the shoe doesn't fit, he's not saying, "Ah, oh, Drake is ghost right." Drake is getting his stuff ghostwritten or something like that. He's saying, you know, I'm finding that there's certain people ain't writing. Yeah, he shit. said it in a way like. So um, if the shoe fits, fair enough, you can be offended. But if you're trying to say, you know, what I do not ghostwrite or anything like that, then you can't be offended by that. Yeah, he like I feel like, I feel really. I'm pleased and like impressed in the way J. Cole done this. He done it in such a tasteful way. Um saying that how he used to idolise these niggas and shit and saying, but come to fit come to find out these niggas don't even write their shit and whatever. Like he done it in such a tasteful, cheeky way or whatever. Um and then the second verse, uh, I feel like I didn't know who man was going for at all, because he was talking that he's got a homie, he's a rapper and he wants to win bad and whatever. Um, basically saying that this guy he's always depressed and shit and he's he doesn't realise that he's got loads of fans and that and he wants to be 
um, looked at as like a legendary rapper, um, and he's not like seeing the he's not seeing the blessings he's got. Basically, yeah, yeah. I didn't um, know what, who he was I didn't know about he was talking about time, either. When I saw Wale reply, it does seem like yeah. you know Wale's feet yeah. fits. Yeah, that yeah, shoot. yeah. When but I when I started hearing people, I, I, what I saw first was Charlemagne tweet it saying that the second verse was for Wale, and then I re listened to it, and then I was like, oh shit. It could be because the, I swear these the, like these two are are friends and he is a rapper and this sounds like Wale like he he's always moaning and yeah. saying that he's not respected as enough mm-hmm. and whatever and I was like this could be Wale and then when he Wale re, um, done the response track it confirmed it yeah well no that doesn't confirm it that just solidifies the opinion that is for Wale which is you know makes it dumb for him to release a reply track. No, I think... Because then, as I said, like, if you seem offended by, you know, some blanket statement that someone said, then it just it just shows that, you know, the shoes fit in you and you're putting your feet in there and you're saying, you know what, you're talking about me, I feel some type of way, so I'm going to defend myself. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Like, if you don't defend it at all, then people won't be staring at you like you, you, you're complicit in what this person's saying. Like, but that, people are still going to stare at you whether you respond or not. Mm, draws more attention to it draws way more attention to it replying and stuff I guess so You're but solidifying I feel it like in people's mind I feel like you've done the right thing for replying mm, nah, it's like know. it's like if loads of people are in a room and this, there's there's someone wearing a white Reebok and then someone says, you know, the, I don't like these niggas that wear white Reeboks, you know. That, bro, like, that's, that's, <laughs> you're actually wearing those shoes. Like, well, your shoes fit that, in, you're wearing them. That that's, is, that's that is my name, fam. And then everyone's that's, like, yo, he's talking about that guy no, over there. No, that's you know, a about completely that guy over there. different situation. That's a completely different situation. Because, like, Wale might not see himself as moaning or, you know, like... Not appreciating his fans, and he, he does it, but like in the way that. he responded, but he, if he responds to J Cole saying that, yeah. then he's confirming that he feels like that is a representation of him, and that's which, how he's been. Which he knows, himself. like the way he responded, it was like, yeah, I know I do this stuff, and I know I do that stuff, but these are the reasons why he didn't do it in a way as in "fuck you, J Cole." Yeah, you don't that, know my life, that kind of thing. He done it in a way like, I hate you. That's not smart. This just I makes it makes I, it seem even more like the lines were about you, and I don't think that's smart. Well, they were like whether or not they he was, may have been. Whether or not don't he say responded, they, were. they right, may, they have, may been. have been. Whatever, I think they are. Whether or not he responded or not, people are gonna say this. The this no, verse was for what? Like, there's way more reasonable doubt prior to him responding. Like, if if he didn't respond, then you'd say, okay, it sounds like it's Wale because some people have said it sounds like Wale, and that, that's that's. You know that that's yeah, a theory like, that yeah. seems you know uh, what's the word? It seems legit, basically. Yeah. So you, you'd go with that, and you'd be like, "Yeah, this sounds like it's about Wale." But when he responds, you're like, "Whoa, I'm eighty percent sure it's about Wale now because he's confirming it, which isn't really confirmation. Like that doesn't confirm it's a fact until J Cole confirms it, but." Like, the way people perceive it, it just seems way more true now because he responded. There was way more doubt before you could have been swayed on it. It may have been about someone else or whatever. Doubt. If someone gave there you... There was probably a, a little more doubt. But if they, gave you, if they gave you another, another candidate that it could have been about that was as believable you could have swung back on it right about now since no one else has replied as far as I know I don't think it there was seems anyone like as seems believable more. when I first heard it I thought it might have been about a it one, could be about so many people I thought it, it might have been like about one of J. it Cole's could still be about Kanye that, um, nah 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 Kanye's always moaning about you know things that don't go well for him and shit no, I don't think but like the way he says he wants to respect by the has beens, like by all the legends and that Kanye is a legend already. Kanye knows he's a legend. Like in the first verse, J. Cole was kinda of saying, like, yeah, you're not you're an icon, but you're falling off. In this one, it's like, yo, you got fans um stop trying so hard to be like one of the legends, just be yourself, innit? Like how I am. But like the the Wale thing, I feel like at the beginning I thought it could have been for one of J. Cole's brethren's that no one really knows about. Mm. But then when I heard it was Wale, I was thinking, yeah, shoe fits, whatever. It could um, fit a lo- loads of upcoming rappers. But um I think Wale done the right thing responding because I'm one of those people that I'm not a fan of Wale, uh, Wale as you know. But I actually like that song. And oh, I feel seriously. Like, yeah, and I feel like he stepped up on that tune. I feel like he he like had a point to prove or whatever. Okay, I feel like well, he well, was 
he done better on that song. Let's get into that song next and then we'll come back to J. Cole's next song. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to discuss that song because I, I didn't like it. Oh, you did? I, no, I liked so it. So, for the fact that you like it and you fucking hate what it is, it's. it's I like it's it. Maybe, maybe it's because of I know why the song was made or whatever and it's the whole hype. But maybe it could be all the hype that makes me like it more. But me being a, a, a person who doesn't like Wale, for a Wale song, I feel like that's a good tune still. Wow, 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 wow. I but thought, I yeah, thought he wasn't too bad. Let's on that round up whether this song was good or not. Did you like it? Oh, the False Prophet song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. You liked it? Okay. It yeah. Good. Um, I definitely liked that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wanted to quickly ask the question: Was because you know how everyone kind of went skits on Drake for dissing um. Uh, Kid Cudi was J. Cole's I don't like to say this to Kanye but it's not no he didn't he, Drake dissed Kid Cudi yeah I agree with that is 100% saying, yeah. sure Drake dissed Kid Cudi you can't say you can't I mean Cole dissed Kanye yeah can, I, I agree you can I don't, think I feel, maybe he I did I feel like he did it dissing he, too mad no but even like I'm not I'm saying that it's not 100% sure that these bars are targeted at Kanye there's no confirmation well there's not 100% that Drake's bars was targeted at Kanye then if you want to yeah, go like that yeah they were no fam the way you're talking here is if Man on the Moon and stuff and he was and like he was saying uh so you need to cuddy or something no, that was when he you was on stage cuddy. yeah that was when he was but on stage but you knew that there was some animosity there yeah, and so what? So what, J. Cole's ones, you can't tell that that's about Kanye, but you can tell it's Drake's It's possible, ones. but I think Drake's one is With your way logic, more, every it's... slice shot at anyone is is, is 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 possibly not a shot at the person. Yeah, it could just be hypothetical. But I think Drake's one is, anyone else. is like way more apparent. Okay, then. But you feel like he went at Cuddy more harsher? No, I don't, I just, I don't feel like... I feel like that was... A cuddy diss. Yeah. I don't feel like. But my this question was is, was, was Cole wrong for going after someone who's quote unquote mentally unstable? Well, are you asking that like if he was talking about Kanye? Because I'm not, I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah, if on these board. lyrics was 100% about Kanye, which I believe they are, was he wrong for doing that? Like, was he wrong for going after someone that's no, quote unquote diss mentally him. unstable? He didn't diss him. Okay. I agree. He's just voicing and his I opinions. feel I feel like in rap anyone can get it anyway. Yeah, but he wasn't saying. Oh, I feel like it's no hold bars. Kanye is shitty now. And well, also, yeah, man. I feel like yeah, he didn't say oh that nigga's crazy and he's a waste man. He he literally said what's on a lot of people's mind, and it's like and he was saying how he looks up to him. Yeah, and all that sort of yeah. Shit. If and it f- is about Kanye, yeah, if it is about Kanye, which it is. That's um, not don't <laughs> just that's what he was stuff saying. out there and say that it's facts. It's it so ain't clearly facts. for it ain't him, fam. It's it ain't facts. Clearly for him. It ain't facts, boy. Um, I think it's so clearly for him. But like, uh, quickly, we'll go into the next J Cole song. But quickly on the topic of Kanye, apparently Kim Kardashian's apparently leaving him. It's very, um, what's that word? Um, skeptical or. There's something that fucking all these media people say. Hyper is it? Was it? I don't know that word that they say. Um, it's, it's just a it's a shaky story. It's not. Basically, sources are telling people whatever. Um, is it allegedly? Yeah. yeah. So allegedly, Kim Kardashian is gonna divorce Kanye. Allegedly, um, she wants a divorce. Yeah, she wants to divorce Kanye and yeah, custody children. of the kids. Um, do I is is is, is it one hundred percent true? No, it's not. So it could be just bullshit. But if it is true. I feel like Kim Kardashian's a fucking bitch for this. And Why? Well, because I feel like you divorcing a man when they're mentally going through problems is like the worst time to do it. And I also feel... I feel like if this is true, I'm, I'm done with that family. Okay, okay. That family okay. just... Let, I let feel, me stop you right there. Yeah. I feel like they let, just let me, the let piss me Let me out. stop you right, right there. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, hypothetical situation. Yeah, I'm you're with, with a woman. You're with a woman, yeah. You're married to her and whatnot. You've got two kids, blah, blah, blah. You've been living life here. Everything's cool. And all of a sudden, she is fucking crazy. Yeah. Crazy. You see how crazy Kanye is in public? Yeah. Imagine how crazy is in private. Yeah. Crazy, fam. <laughs> crazy, you don't want to deal with it. It's dead. You don't want to be in this relationship. It's whack. You want to you wanna be alone or with someone else, you, you don't want to be in this situation anymore. You're going to stay through that. Well, I'm going to try and get them help or whatever. You ain't going to stay through that, fam. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't... Uh, 
like that situation would probably never happen to me because I'm not gonna end up married to a crazy person. Or no, but what if she just? I think I'll see the red flag. I think I'll see the red flag. she develops it, what if she doesn't have if she develops it with her, and eventually she develops it. If she develops it, then I'm gonna try and stick her. For how long? Through how long? Like stick through until she gets help or whatever, isn't it? If she doesn't want to get help herself, if she's trying to get help and it ain't working out, you're gonna stick through it. What if she's trying to get help and it ain't working? If it's if she's trying to get help and she ain't working out, then she's gonna get sectioned. Like, depending on how crazy she is. You gonna divorce her though or try and stay with her? Well. She's throwing, like, glasses at you and shit. I'm obviously gonna. If if, if she's throwing glasses and shit at me, I'm obviously gonna call the police. And, like, when you see her in the morning, like, she, she's got a knife. Like, these are all red, the these are all red flags that man would, Like, what the fuck is she I doing would, in the bathroom call the, with a knife? I'd call the police. <laughs> I'd call the police. Um, so and you call feds on her? Yeah. Ain't that worse than divorcing her? No, she's... Tra- she's <laughs> well, she's crossed the boundaries. You might as well divorce her after that. She's crossed the boundaries. If she's, like, coming towards me with a knife and that... No, she doesn't come towards you with a knife. She came out of the bathroom with a knife. And then she's just standing there being bare creepy, like some sort of horror film. <laughs> well, then I'm going to try to take the knife from her. And then if she tries to stab me, then I'll... Yeah. No, you try to take the knife, it works out, you get the knife out, and then she does that again in two weeks. Yeah, I'm going to like tell her she needs to go get some help. We need to go rehab, get her into rehab, get her some help or whatever, get her under some medication. If all of this shit ain't working, like psych, um, therapist and all of that, if it's not working, then... um. Then we'll think about like her getting like put into an insane asylum, and then I'm gonna have to leave her or whatever, in it. But like, I feel like Kim's situation ain't that deep, in it. I feel like can't everyone knew Kanye was crazy before all of this happened. We don't even know Kanye. Like we've just seen public images of Kanye. We all knew this guy was crazy. Mm, like for years. Crazy is a big word to. Like, right, not crazy, but we knew this guy was, was different. In, he was unstable. He was unstable. I feel like he might be autistic or like that. I think he might be autistic because he has certain moments where I'm like, that seems like an autistic person would do that. Um, the way he want, he, the way he's a bit OCD and he wants things a certain way. And he's oh, very, there's some good film you should watch called The Accountant. It's about autistic, right? Yeah, and he's a he, but he shoots people and shit. Yeah, yeah. it's very good. It's what is it on HD? Yeah, what's, what's that? It just came out. Like, guy's name. Mark Wahlberg, isn't it? No, not Mark Wahlberg. It's not Mark Wahlberg. No, Matt Damon. Yeah, no. The other one. The guy in Batman. Ben, no. Ben Affleck. Ben there Affleck. we go. Yeah, it's yeah. him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Ben Affleck. I think he does a does a good job. Yeah, he does I have like him he does Batman. have that stereotypical actor face for some reason. I just feel yeah. like he just looks like the stereotypical white man. Yeah. To me. But he, he does a good job, man. I haven't seen him really do a shit job. I didn't like him. Right, man. Like, he didn't work for so long, but now he's come back on the scene. I, I kind of I appreciate his work. He's good in Gone Girl as well. Have you seen that? Mm, Gone Girl. Yeah, he was sick in that. That was very good. I really liked that. Yeah, yeah. I really liked that. But um, back to Kanye. Um, So, yeah, like, from looking at him, like, I've... I've looked at Kanye in the public image for years and I know this guy's not all the... Like, he's not all the... He's not that stable, will it? He's mm. not all the way there. He's not a full cup of tea. Um, I've Like, this is just looking at him on public image, fam. So, Kim knew this guy personally. You decided to have kids with him and be, and marry this guy, innit? So... So what, she can't decide to leave? Why are you marrying him in the first place? Because, you know, she thought he was cool. And then eventually yeah, and then what? She, and now she what? can't take it anymore. What people can't just leave. They can well, people, people can, should just stay with someone people forever. Can, people can change their mind, but this girl's changed her mind like five times. She's so good. she's got a right. Yeah, she's got the right to, she's but I just right don't agree happy. with it. I don't agree with it. Like Fair I just enough. don't agree with the way that family treats men basically. <laughs> like it's very despicable. Like Seriously. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> like one guy's turned into a woman one guy's on oh, drugs come on. one come guy's on. gone into rehab come one, on like now Kanye's gone into mentally unstable like what the fuck are they doing to their men bruv how have men been treating women over the ages are you seriously yeah, bringing yeah, up over- how women are treating men right about that over the years men have treated women like, terribly as well so- I, don't ag- I don't agree with any sort of sexism but I feel like that family does some next bullshit to men and they all just c- turn crazy. I don't think leaving someone is, you know, that that bad. 
that big of a deal. But he's turned honest. crazy though. He's like, well, he, I don't, we don't know if he's crazy, but he's been, he's, he's, he's been called mentally unstable and he's been checked into hospital. And he's now been mentally unstable. So at any point of her leaving him, he would have been, she would have been leaving him while he was mentally unstable. Yeah, but I feel like she's made it worse or whatever. But I, I don't believe this story is true anyway. Um, I don't believe. I, 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 mean, I, very I, don't, I don't believe it's true, and I hope it's not true. But I wouldn't be surprised if it is true. I wouldn't. It seems wouldn't like that's what the Kardashians do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel like, oh no, she should stick with him or anything like that. Like she has a right to fucking leave and be happy. If she doesn't want to be with him, she doesn't need to stay there. Yeah. And be with him. Fuck her though. Then she's gonna just try find another new celebrity and then turn his life to shit as well. So what if I've, if people want to get with Kim K, yeah, and they want to be in a relationship with Kim K how are you blaming Kim K for what happens like people are she's not forcing anyone into a relationship what you're saying oh because she's super buff she's, she's fucking hypnotising people into a relationship they don't have no, a choice I just, people I wanna, just feel like people want to be with her like, this whole family just keeps on making men go crazy people turn, wanna, into, turn to drugs men and are turn getting into involved with them like you can if you're if you're off the like from the outside and you're saying oh wow that, that family is doing some, some fucked up shit that wouldn't want to be I'd still be Kylie Jenner though Exactly. So you're still getting involved, yeah. and then what? You, you, what you, when you when you fuck up and you become crazy or what whatnot, and I'll start just be smoking like, crack. I knew. Like, oh, oh, I took let's the, blame I took it on the them guys. What? Ha- that's not fair. That's not fair. You made a conscious decision to get involved. <laughs> so everyone is, you know, everyone's a party to what's what's going on. Everyone's guilty in the end. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter to be honest to me. Yeah, it's just fucking life, isn't it? But um, if if she does leave him, the only positive that could come of it is that he should make her like a great album. Because um, obviously... Nah, I think he'd probably kill himself. He will probably would try to, but hopefully if he's got the right she people takes around his kids him... kids away from him. If, the, if he's got the right people around him, they can stop him from killing himself. And that he's got he the right people around him. Fire he push, album. Push Jay-Z away, push Beyonce away with all this bullshit. I, I think, you know... <laughs> he needs Kim right about now. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's fucked up if she leaves him. Fuck that bitch, man. Mm, but it's his fault that he put himself in this predicament anyways with, like, pushing people away and that. It's her fault. What? Turn him crazy. I, I, don't, I don't believe that. But I don't know. Like, anything could be happening. Fucking bitches. Um, but yeah, back to J. Cole, hip-hop saviour. So no, let's he... talk about Wale's thing. We talked about that. No, we didn't. All right, what do you want to say about it? I the said song. I liked it. Let's talk about the song. Yeah, I said I liked it. I thought it was whack. Yeah. I liked it, innit? <laughs> like, like, I know Wale can do so much better. He can make entertaining songs. I think it was boring. I don't feel like there was any need for him to reply to that because I feel like it just it gives what J. Cole says more weight. Yeah, what people are gonna people weight. are gonna say that it was about him anyway. Yeah, but I feel but like at least now it, it makes it even worse. I feel like I don't, I at don't least feel now like he done a good reply. Now I can listen to J Cole's mm, thing and think, oh, while they done a good reply to that. I part. don't feel like he said anything on there that actually made the situation any better, or made or made him come out in a better light or anything. It was just yeah, because I already don't like the guy, and he just he just explained why we don't like him, and I was just like, all right, cool. I, I, I feel I was, like you're rapping better on it. Nah, I think he was, he was rapping very boringly on it. Like, I just I just didn't care. It wasn't a good song. Definitely yeah. wasn't, you know, Well, you song. actually liked Wale, so I don't expect much from him. So when I saw it... I know it, Wale can make hits. When I saw it, I was like, oh, here we go, some bullshit. So then when I listened mm, to it, I was boring. like, oh, this ain't as trash as I thought it would be. Mm, so... Felt it was really, really boring. I've got low, ex- really low expectations for that guy, so... Fair enough. If he does all right... I'm gonna say, yo, that's good. You didn't like Lotus Flower Bomb in that. That's a good song, yeah, but not because of him. Oh my god, that's that so was. So did of you my like girl. Ambition? That album, yeah, that was his best album. But I didn't like. It wasn't great. It was his best album, but it was just a good album. It wasn't nothing special. <sighs> all right. Like I feel like Big Sean's albums are all better than that, and I feel like Big Sean doesn't make nothing special albums. <sighs> all right. But I feel like Wale is just really like he defines a mediocre artist. Big Sean, just, he put out Dark Sky, Sky's Paradise in February, right? This year, right? Wasn't it last year? I feel like it. It feels like last year, but I'm, wasn't it this year? No, I'm sure that was last. Pretty year. Pretty sure it was early this year. 
All I know is that... It feels like it was ages ago when I, I went in a new Big Sean project, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I was going to say that. I feel like we need a new Big Sean thing. Um, but he, the, the recent tracks he released was good, so should be should be some fire coming from him. Yeah, 2015. It was last year. What February. Day? What? Yeah. He hasn't released the album in a fucking year. Yeah, so next year is going to be two years, so he's probably going to release next year early. Next year. Oh, my God. Yeah, hopefully early. He's just waiting his time, isn't it? Fair enough. He's probably cooking up, but he released that bullshit with Janae Aiko this year, that's why. Oh. That was trash. It was okay. It was dead. Um, it wasn't great. But yeah, next the next J. Cole song, um, mm-hmm. One Day One Day Everybody Gotta Die. Very, very short. Yeah, short, kind of like an interlude, basically. Yeah. Um, I it's liked this right. one as well. I like False Prophets better. Yeah, because it's a song. I I agree. I prefer False Prophets because it's like a song. It's got a chorus. It's got verses. It's just like a little um, freestyle. This was like a little freestyle interlude. But I liked it. I like um, I liked everything about it. I feel like J Cole's a rapper. Like like on both songs, he he showed and portrayed why I feel like he's um one of the best out of the new school because he's actually a rapper. Mm. You can hear it. You can hear his music lasting like when we was talking last year last week about whose music is going to last basically yeah i think I f- j cole tries harder than most of these, these other artists other definitely artists, yeah. i feel like he does as well i feel like that's why he takes such he cares long about breaks. being a rapper yeah i feel like he's like he 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 really embodies like the old school 90s hip hop music like not 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 the sound of it. I don't, know, not, I don't feel like it's the. To listen to it I don't feel like it. He, I don't feel like he embodies the sound of it, but he definitely embodies that passion in it. Like he of, embodies the passion for rhymes and lyricism. And rhymes and, and lyricism. Sort of yeah, like, I understand like, that and I like it. The way Nas, Nas or Jay Z or um, ah, I don't, all of these. Let's, let's not put Jay Z in there. Jay Z maybe used to like have the passion. Yeah, for I'm talking about back in the day. Yeah, but you know, I feel like he still cares. He now. Don't, nah, he cares about making money. Yeah, I guess so. But don't don't you remember when he said I used to rap like common sense, common sense? Then I made what well, then I sold like five mil or something. I haven't been rapping like common sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Like <laughs> he don't care about that. He's trying to fucking make his peace, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when it comes down to it, like he'd like to rap and whatnot, but he he's rather sell in it. Mm. So. I think J. Cole cares more about just rapping because he doesn't... Re- he seems like he, he, he's not really cool. Yeah, I don't think he cares man. about sales, even though he sells a lot. You wouldn't need to care about sales if you're in J. Cole's position anymore. No, like, yeah. I think he's got enough peace to take care of himself and Definitely. live for a little while. And he so feels like he the kind of guy that... He can just make music for yeah, fun now. He's the kind of guy that doesn't care about having the, the biggest whip or all the chains or whatever. He seems like the kind of guy that just wants to make sure his family's cool. Yeah, that's all you really... Um, bruv, all you really yeah. need is to survive and have the people around you surviving. Exactly. And, and I feel you know, like that's all he cares about. change the world and help everyone survive. Yeah. But you don't need a I think he cares more about making great stuff. music. <clears throat> and he's a producer as well. So, yeah, J. Cole's definitely a talented artist. Um, But um, the main bit on this song was when he said... Um, uh, something about the rappers. He he's basically annoyed about all these little whatever rappers um, that get um, saying that then the streets don't fuck with you, and then you you can't stand next to rappers like me and whatever. And basically, people are saying that he's talking about little Yachty and little Uzi Vert, and he's just talking about all the mumble rappers and whatever. Um, and I I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed the competitive nature in hip hop these days. I feel like. Um, Drake's been doing it um, Big Sean done it a couple of weeks ago uh, J. Cole's doing it this week um, everyone's just kind of just saying yo no nah, I'm the best or like and J. Cole just even though he's way better than these dead rappers yeah and he doesn't even need to yes, talk about them at all fair. and he's they can't reply they can't reply at all and he doesn't even need to talk In about them in meaningful way and his his core audience probably Imagine doesn't even little, listen your, I mean your, your <laughs> easy vert replying his, it's not fair his core audience probably doesn't even listen to them man but I feel like J. Cole still had to get that off his chest because he cares so much about hip hop mm. and especially the comments Little Yachty makes about Tupac and Biggie and stuff. I feel like J Cole's the kind of brother that you know. Be like, I I understand what little yachty what, where is he where he's coming from. I understand as well. I understand but as well. There's he, no, it's different generation. There's no need to be saying you know that, that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's but he's no, he, he's trolling, man. He knows what he's he knows. 
maybe, by saying this, it's going to yeah, cause a it ruckus. Does, it does it? cause yeah. a ruckus. So he knows, he knows. I, under, I, I understand that. And that's you that's know, why, did you, hear, did you see his response to J. Cole? So, no. He he, um, on the interview, he said oh, he doesn't listen to J. Cole, um, but then he was like, I don't think it's about me because I'm not sure. <laughs> he said it might be about Lil Uzi. And then he said... Um, but J. Cole he was like that song's um, what did he say he said something like J. Cole's cool though he seems like a cool guy but like I don't really listen to him anyway and then Lil Uzi his reply on Twitter was yo I just heard some fire from J. Cole like, <laughs> shit this that's shit. a good yeah, that's a yeah, good yeah, 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 that's, yeah, how, yeah. that's how Lil Uzi should reply Lil Uzi was like yo I just heard some fire from J. Cole that song is bars man you're one of the top lyricists out there and that he just left it like that reply. that was a perfect reply perfect <laughs> reply just got to concede defeat. Like, you know, I know you're a better rapper than yeah. me. I'm not going to come um, to yeah. this rapping thing. And they know, and, like, little Uzi, little, little Yachty, they ain't bars. here for bars. We, we know what, they know what they're doing, innit? Yeah, they're just here for the sauce and the swag and just like, hello, 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 hello. like, they're just there to make a hype. Mm. And that's why I feel like J. Cole didn't even need to send for them. But I, I like the fact that he, he dissed them because... He's just, you know, voicing his opinions, getting stuff off yeah, his chest, innit? Yeah, yeah, because he doesn't want... um. Yeah, the way he called him Pitchfork, the white man chose you rappers, like, because, do you know what it reminds me of? Like, J. Cole's, like, the, like, he embodies, like, a black man that's just trying to, like, just, sh- like, like, we need to just destroy the image of all these niggas, like, they're just ruining us, yeah. just chatting shit about bread and, and shooting and stuff, and J. Cole just doesn't do that, he talks about real stuff, mm. um, and real life shit, man, but, like, I, I enjoyed those both tracks and neither of them are going to be on the album. Really? Yeah, I looked at the track listing and they're not on the album, fam. So okay, it's so... proper, like, just... Well, the album's going to gonna be better then. I guess so. Okay. I Maybe I will so, listen to yes. it. I, w- I will listen to J. Cole's album. To yeah, 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 like, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't really listen to J. Cole like... Yeah, like, like, even though you don't listen to religiously, album, but it's something if you but hear... But when he's got a new album, album you'll, you'll eventually I'll get around to it, yeah. listen to it and see what I because I know J. Cole is very talented. Yeah, he's a musician, man. Yeah. That nigga's a musician. But I don't I don't overrate him like I believe a lot of people do. You feel like he's better than um Kendrick though? Yeah, he's more enjoyable than Kendrick to me. No and yeah, I think he's he's a better rapper than Kendrick. Definitely. Mm. I think Kendrick used to be very good and then he ran out of, you know, saying ran out of stuff to say. And now it seems like he's he just drags out, you know, what he's got to say. Instead of saying new stuff or yeah. doing something interesting, I think J. Cole is very consistent in his bars and whatnot. And every, every word and every line and every lyric is useful. There's no fluff pieces, there's no trash lines or anything like that. It makes every <coughs> word count. I don't think that Kendrick does that. 100%. 100%. I agree with that. He, um, well, I agree that I think Kendrick cares about lines, but I don't J. Think Cole, he, I feel like he cares that. more. Yeah. yeah, he cares more than any of these new rappers, really. Because yeah. even Drake will sometimes do a filler bar. I feel Drake like, don't really care. Yeah, Drake, Drake cares about making J. Cole, J. Cole seems like the kind of guy that if he if he if he will refuse to put a filler bar, like he'll work weeks for that bar to be sick. Yeah, and you know you can do that if you want to, but. I don't expect that from everyone, to be honest. No, no, because... Uh, I enjoy it from J. Cole. I yeah. enjoy it from J. Cole, and I enjoy it from artists that do, you know, really try hard to make really great lyrical songs. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. What are you doing? You're looking at a track listing. Why? Just to make sure that I was right about those two songs not being on it. Oh. And yeah, they're not on it, and it's only 10 tracks. So <clears throat> should be good still. Um, but yeah, that's enough about J. Cole. So his album should be coming out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we should be able to review that next week. So that'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, I listened to the... I watched the documentary. Jay didn't watch it. Um, no, I was watching on uh, The Night Of. That's what it's called. Yeah. Which I'll is a very it. good series I told you to check out. Yeah, I'm going to check that I out. I haven't really given you any info on it whatsoever. No, you just told I'm, me who's in it. Yeah, Bashy's in it. I think Bashy done a very great job. So great that I had to, I had to tweet him. I had to let him know <laughs> that he done a great job because, yeah, he don't don't look at the tweet because it might give you... It's like minor spoilers. Okay, don't, okay. don't check it out. But I, I, think it, well, I think he's in like episode three or something. Oh, so he's not in the whole series, no? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I think that he is introduced in episode three. That's that's okay. all I'm saying. So that means he is in a couple more episodes. And he does an, an amazing job. So does 
the the gentleman that plays Omar in is it the English Wild. series or is it American or is it it's is American it it's American he's got an American, so he's accent. Doing American I, accent listen first time I saw this yeah I saw a clip of this the the scene where Bashi meets the main character mm. ages ago on Twitter mm. of people saying oh Bashi done a really good American accent mm. or something and I thought it was shit I thought it was mm. a terrible American accent I thought you know Bashi sounded too like I heard an English inflection in a mm. word so I was like oh no this is a bad job and you know I, I moved on I didn't even know what the series about yeah. was about I didn't check up on it or anything like that and then recently I think I, I might have been looking for series to watch I think I was looking through HBO series because they generally have very very good stuff I think yeah. they done Westworld they done yeah, they done Westworld, yeah. Game of Thrones they done I think they done did they do True Blood? yeah I think they done True yeah. Blood done Sopranos done Oz they, they mm. HBO know how to put out good fucking they series did they do Breaking Bad no that was nah, Netflix nah that was it? AMC oh. that was AMC but well, that's Netflix you know I knew I wanted yeah, to HBO don't play when it comes to series yeah I knew I wanted to check out a new series hopefully a small one because I don't I don't like you know watching a series that's ongoing and having to wait for the new episodes to mm. come out and I don't want to get into a series that's like fucking seven seasons long because then, you know, after the first season, I'll be, you know, hankering to know what's happening on the second season and it'll make me less productive and whatnot. So this mm. one, mini series, eight episodes, I was like, you know what, cool, we can do this, get the story <coughs> and get out, you know. <coughs> yeah. And I watched mm. it. It was very good. And when I saw Bashi, I was like, yeah, look, I got Bashi because yeah. it was so good up until that point. I was so happy for him to be in such a, you know, show. such a good show. And he, his performance was really, really convincing. And I feel like he done a very good job. And I feel like everyone involved in this pro, this um, series done a very good job. And it really elicited a lot of emotions out of me. And I, I really cared about the characters and whatnot. And it was very tense at times. Very, very tense. And I think... Not a lot of shows really have that like, give me a lot of tension like that. The only other shows that gave me a lot of tension was Mr. Robot. I don't Thrones. know. Thrones yeah, Thrones Game, of, Th- Game yeah. of Thrones. After, you know, the season one mm. madness, there was, there's tension all the time in Game mm. of Thrones. But there are still characters that you know are safe yeah to me like there's still characters that i think you know those guys are safe but at times they do like when john snow was well, fighting when, snow was murdered, when yeah. no wait let's not go there Come on, everyone knows john snow. when he was yeah, fighting the white walker and i had just started rooting for him oh that time no i knew that, you weren't gonna that was more. really tense that was tense you know anything can happen yeah, in the game that was Thrones. tense but i felt like john snow was a certain character but then when the madness happened i was like lord he wasn't certain for me at that point he was certainly a little more down the road like but because he was just the guy on the night's watch and i thought the night's watch stuff was always boring so i didn't really mm. care about it but at that point is when i came on the side of john snow and then i realized they they can't kill him like what the fuck he's that's no spoilers like, I, was, yeah. I couldn't talk too much but I think he's such a central character that it'll just be silly to kill him and in a lot of these shows you know that there's a main character and you know that that character is not going to die or whatever because the series needs to continue but it's, it's, it's really amazing when they find other ways to make situations really tense like they, they might get caught for doing this or this might fuck up their plan mm. or you know shit might happen there. so I really enjoyed that and I thought it was, it was a great show. You should definitely watch it. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. What was we talking about before that? Um, J. Cole. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> but yeah, so there's not much to talk about J. Cole anyway. Um, cool. uh, yeah, the next topic though. So, basically, there's some savages out there in the world. Oh, talk um, about. <laughs> <laughs> there's savages out there that doesn't they don't care if you're with a girl they don't care if it's your wife or your girlfriend or your fiance if they wanna if they wanna fuck your bitch they, they're gonna put it out there innit they're gonna oh be my very... god there's some video on twitter yeah of some girl whining on some guy I saw that and her boyfriend like, tra- like, touching her arm yeah, or whatnot yeah. what a dickhead fam you gotta swing a, in that situation, dickhead situation. Nah, you just but walk then, away it's but done. yeah, yeah, it's done that ain't your what, girl yeah, I lie. Because like, at first I thought you got a swing. What then, kind? What kind thought, of girl? Nah, she's a jabs. Yeah, what kind exactly. of girl would <laughs> whine on the next man in front of you? Like, 
I've never experienced that in my fam. life. I've never even thought that that would happen in my life. There's savages never... out there, fam. Especially Bruv, these niggas. I, I don't know what girl, these like, niggas, what fam. kind of girl is gonna, you know, dance like that in them, front them on the white next man from. in front of their man. Like they, they don't even give a shit. It's just. Fucking, Jabba's it's fucking wild, bro. My man tried to turn a hole into a housewife. You don't fucking touch her arm, though, and try and... I know, know, he was just like... like oh, please, please. Yeah, he just looked so please moist as mine. well. <laughs> no, he just looked, looked so keep moist, it moving, man. Man. Keep it moving, next thing. A lie. He just looked so moist, fam. Yeah, was, but... No. Yeah, fuck can't it. Relate. Anyway, there's, 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 there's... There's bare soft niggas out there. But anyway, yeah, so... There's savages out there that are not on a joke team. They'll want to fuck your bitch, innit? So basically, 21 Savage, he's been on Kylie for years. Like, he posted something about her years ago, but no one cared, innit? But recently, he's been posting pictures about Kylie and that, putting love struck eyes and that. Oh, he's been putting on Twitter, on Instagram. <laughs> like, everyone knows Kylie Jones going out with Tiger, innit? So, um, ti- people have been applying pressure on Tiger on the low, but Tiger hasn't responded or whatever. Why though? He How doesn't really need to. Yeah, he doesn't... He's got the girl. Like that's his girl. Like... It's true, but like if a another like do you know because, how many how many guys out savage, there yeah. fancy fucking Kylie? No, it's Kylie. true, but because twenty one Savage yeah, is supposed well. to send a distract but to you. I'm not to on you Tiger's up. caliber, fam. Like because twenty one Savage is a well known rapper now. Mm, it's like your work colleague. Still, it's fam. been in the game for like a year. Nah, fam. Twenty one's. Big though, right now. On like, this level, he's been in fam, the game he done for a, like song, a year. Yeah, he's been in the game for a year. Drake's done a track with him. He's out there now. Drake does a track with anyone who's hot. Yeah, and so so you're admitting he's hot then? That was a fucking line in the J. Cole song. He was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, <laughs> jump, on jump on a hot nigga and bite in their style. Yeah, yeah, instead of writing shit yourself. Like, J. Cole is the <laughs> truth, fam. The real is back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, 21's hot, fam. 21's out there right now. Like... Like in the hip hop music, so mediocre, in the hip hop rap, oh, I think he's hard. But I don't the, know, I don't know if he's whether he's mediocre him and Tiger, to be honest. or dead. No, no, no. Twenty was definitely. I don't Tiger. even know. I don't even. It's but, not. It's not a clear decision for me. But within the hip hop or rap industry, Twenty One Savage is a known artist, and Tiger is a known artist. I'd yeah. probably say Tiger's more known, but I feel like Twenty One Savage is more current right now. Um. So yeah. So they're known artists, fam. So that is like your work colleague that you know. Like you don't, they obviously don't know each other, but it's your work colleague, isn't it? No, it's like someone who works in the same company. Yeah, but is like working at the same company in a different city. Yeah, it's like you work in, I don't know. Uh, let's let's say you work in Google or something, and you're a high executive or yeah. something, and this is some next high executive yeah, in a that different city. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. Then it's and you know of each other, but you don't know each other. Yeah, but you ain't seeing him every day. Ain't You're not seeing him thing. every day, but then you just hear that that other, other high executive person is is saying that they want to fuck your bitch. Gives a right? shit. <laughs> it's just rude, isn't it? You want to travel to France and it's have a rude. chat with him? You're no, like, yo, what are you saying, phone? No, nah, you send the email, <laughs> isn't it? You send a, a very harsh email. Really? No, like obviously, and who does that? It's the way they do it as well. You gotta be jealous. You gotta be the jealous type to do that. I'm not on that at all. Like, if a guy fancies a girl that I'm with, I don't give a shit. The only time I give a shit is if she fancies him back, or if she's saying, "Oh yeah, that that guy yeah, is really true. hot or something." I hear that. Like, I don't, I don't give a shit. If she don't give a shit, why should I? That's true. I hear that. I, I'm but, not the jealous type. I'm not I'm really. I'm not in that. But I feel like so anyway. So I, in because it's hip hop and that. And it's a competitive nature and the fans are always like adding fuel to the fire or whatever. So bare people have just been like um hyping this up, hyping it up. Um Kylie Jen is obviously not interested in him because she commented on some Instagram picture calling 21 a bitch or whatever. Oh my god. Yeah, it's fully called him a bitch. So she's obviously doesn't care about Yeah, him. so he Ty doesn't um, need to worry at all. He doesn't. Then then on TMZ on some video. Um, they filmed 21 and was asking him like oh what's going on with you and Kylie and 21 said I'll tear that ass up <laughs> and then <laughs> the, the interview was like what would Tiger think, think about that 21 ignored it and then 21's brethren said fuck that nigga <laughs> and then they kept it moving did it so then Tiger yeah, that is blatant disrespect so. Um, so Tiger's like on Kylie Jenner's Snapchat she put up a, a, a preview of Tiger's song um no, no, this is what happened first. Tiger posted sign on his Instagram first. Basically, um, <laughs> it was him and Kylie and saying something like, it was a Jay-Z lyric, that's it. It was a Jay-Z lyric and saying that niggas want to be me so bad or something like. 
<laughs> it was saying something like niggas want my um where is it? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. Wait, hold on. Is it important? He, he wouldn't he wouldn't because I want to get it the specific quote, but I can't find it. I don't think he deleted it though. He wouldn't have deleted it. I guess he deleted it. Anyway, my man basically was saying that um niggas wanna be me so bad, innit? They want my bitch and they want my lifestyle, innit? Basically that's what he was trying to say. Um oh yeah, here it is. Selling records being you, but still you want to be me. So that's a Jay-Z lyric. So, yeah, that is, that is a good Jay-Z lyric. Um, so, yeah, he's basically saying, like, you're out there doing your thing, but still you want to be me because you want my girl, you want my lifestyle or whatever. Then 21 <laughs> posted another picture of Kylie after that and said, shout my boss bitch's wife and niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 20, 21 Savage is a he's comedian, a you know, to be honest. He is. He, he is, is a comedian. He is. He, the, like, then, the things that he says in his music. Fam, you know that No Heart song, yeah? He performed it. And you know that bit where he says, um, um, so what's up with all that Instagram shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he performed that bit. And then he was like, so what's up with all that slide listening on Instagram, Tiger? And he done that live on the show, innit? And everyone was like, oh, my God. Oh, oh. And he was just like, yeah, pistol bitch, you right, bitch naked. Like, and he just started going in, yeah? So then, Tiger, that's when... Kylie Jenner put on the snap and put on a preview of um that same No Heart song and Tiger going over it, innit? So it sounds like Tiger's gonna release a diss track back to 21 Savage. Now, I I um personally I feel like it's I'm looking forward to a diss track from Tiger because I feel like it's gonna be hilarious. Cause I don't rate Tiger as a lyricist or as a rapper. I don't really rate Twenty One that much, but I prefer. I prefer. No, nah, he's not a good lyricist. He's or just good rapper, outrageous. I prefer he's outrageous him to Tiger. Gucci. Yeah, he's outrageous. But he's I more outrageous Gucci's, than Gucci I think right Gucci's now. a better rapper. Yeah, right yeah Gucci's like, a better rapper. Gucci's, but Gucci's had calmed to, down now to you know master his craft. Yeah, yeah. master his craft. But Gucci's calmed down. Like he's not. No, he's still outrageous. He's outrageous, but he's not as much as he's used to be. Outrageous says outrageous stuff. Not as much as he used to be. He's not talking about outrageous shooting people in the face. Yeah, but he's talking about that's what just, yeah, he's just outrageous <laughs> in a different aspect yeah, of life. Yeah, in isn't a it? different way, yeah. yeah. But 21, he's wild, fam. He's, so I, I really want Tiger to send for him because I know 21 is going to come with that heat. <laughs> he's just going to chat so much shit and so much crud talk. But um, I hope this just... I hope this is just play, stays on music and just stays on like Instagram because 21 is really like about that life. Um, and I don't want anyone getting shot or murdered or hurt. Um, and I just... Like, I, I, f- I do hear what you're saying about the tiger doesn't need to reply because it's your girl, your girl doesn't care about him, just get on with your life kind and of thing. And your girl's dissing him at the same and, time. Yeah, that makes 21 time. look like a clown. Yeah, well, it doesn't, though. Well, he's saying he's saying hilarious stuff, so it's, it's yeah. hilarious and entertaining. But at the end of the day, if you're looking at it, like, realistically, logically, he's the clown in the situation. He's the one that takes the L. Because he's talking about he's how he the, wants to fuck this I girl. I feel like he, and she's he'll, with he'll take the L only it. if he starts dissing Kylie. I feel like. If he no, starts, I mean, if there's an L to be given out in this situation, then it should go to Savage. Right now? No, I don't think so, man. Why? Who would it go to if not 21? I don't think it should go to anyone, really. But because it's Tiger, I'll give it to him. No, that's not fair. Why does he get L? Because it's Tiger. wants to fuck his girl. No, just because it's Tiger. No, that's not fair. That's not fair. You can't just... <laughs> Can't just give man the L based on prior experience. That's not how L's no, work. To That's be not honest, how you hand out to be L's. Honest, no, I don't think either of them deserve an L right now. I feel like 21 is just being a normal single guy. Like, yeah. A lot of single being, guys want to fuck Kylie. Dog, yeah. yeah. Like, he's being, at least he's being real about it. There's probably loads yeah. of niggas in the industry hollering at Kylie on the low. And yeah. not, and it's not least, that deep, really. It's not that deep. Like, man's just trying to say that your girl's attractive, really. That's all. Tiger shouldn't really take it He shouldn't it take that it that seriously. deep. Yeah, it's not that serious. Um, And I feel like Tiger doesn't get an L because he's sleeping next to Kylie at night. Yeah. Um, Kylie doesn't get an L because she's Kylie. She just gets a D. And um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone gets an L, really. But I'd li- I like handing Tiger L's. Like, it's, it's not it's, it's not how you hand out L's, man. It's not. You have to be non-biased. I know, I know. But he just he just looks like a can't L give out man. L's based on prior situations. It's not how the system works. Yeah, I hear you, man. So if the system well, if if it operates like that, then everything goes to shit. Then everyone's just getting consistent L's for no reason. <laughs> just 
L City. It's not but cool. It seems like a lot of people are trying to give Tiger the L out there. Yeah, just because he's an L. Because he's Tiger. He's an yeah, L magnet. He's an L magnet. Yeah. You see Tiger, it's like L's all over the place. <laughs> oh fucking L! Talking of Gucci, fam. That Saint Rick intro, fam. We got to review it, boy. The intro, the Christmas song, fam. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard the whole song. I've only heard oh, the clip on Twitter. Oh, when I saw, when I saw you tweet, I thought I always heard the song because yeah, I had heard, I listened the to the whole song, song still. Yeah, I heard the whole song. It's hard. Yeah, it's good though. It is so hard. What I heard fam. was good. The only thing I didn't like about the music video was there was a lot of breaks in the verses and like, um, no, actually, it was one long freestyle and he broke it up and he done a little, he done little like um, movie scenes in the middle. So it kind of disrupt, disturbed the song, innit? So I didn't mm. get to listen to the song as a whole. But um, Did you what, see his tweet saying he was upset that... Um, s- s- was it Atlanta Santa? Was it South Atlanta Santa or something like that? East Atlanta Santa wasn't yeah. nominated for a Grammy. And then someone <laughs> replied saying, oh, it hasn't even come out yet. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> He's ridiculous. I forgot what he said. When's, he when's said, that coming that out? Matter. He said that's not the point or something. Yeah. <laughs> when's it? When's it coming out? I don't know. I think it's, it's coming Christmas. out this month sometime. Yeah, it must be this month. He's just he's just dropping them, boy. Where he's just doing what Gucci does, boy. Just dropping bare albums. You're only gonna get a couple songs from each album. Um, but I'm looking forward to this one because I liked that introduction. Like, man, just remixed the fucking Jingle Bells theme. And just just <laughs> just talking that trap talk and saying that he's a trap Santa. Yeah, I'm not really in a Christmas songs, but you know when it comes to Gucci, man. No, nah, Gucci, the way he switched that fam, the way he flipped it, he's just capitalizing right now. He's just doing his best to capitalize it's quite moment, on the moment. Man. Where is this tweet? Yeah, while you find it, um, listen to that song, folks. I think it's good. It's called Say Brick Intro. Um, it's basically Gucci being Gucci, just talking, talking that that trap talk, that crud talk, that outrageous talk. Oh, hey, so you're telling me the return of East Atlanta Santa didn't get nominated for a Grammy? Shake my head. Pure fuckery. I'm sick of it. <laughs> then someone says, Gucci, the album isn't even out yet. And he said, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be out, bruv. He but I'm saying he's him. fucking he's hilarious man he's just outrageous for the sake of being outrageous yeah um alright next topic yeah so basically um Charlemagne met up with Tommy Lauren so if you don't know who Tommy Lauren is um she is a white female media uh personality I personality guess. I guess yeah presenter she's, she's like a presenter she's got a, like a huge following on Facebook I checked out Facebook yesterday and she's got a huge following fam like over 4 million mm, I'm, people. I'm not really on Facebook like that but um, fair she's enough. she's only 24 uh and she basically the first time I heard of her was when she said some wild stuff about Beyonce's performance saying that she's bigging up the Black Panthers and then she started then she said some stuff about how the Black Lives Matter movement is like the KKK. Um, and then, and now she's part of the Donald Trump camp. She was part of the Donald Trump campaign as well. She's just, she's basically like a young girl who's got wild opinions that yeah. are sometimes deemed as racist or um, very right winged. And she's basically got a huge following because I think the whole world has opened their eyes to see that there is a lot of racist people out there. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know if we can just jump to racism. Let's not say racism. Let's just say people who share an opinion that you don't relate to. It's just an unpopular opinion. Yeah. Her saying Black Lives Matter is like the KKK isn't no, racist. She, I'm not saying she's racist. Just I'm saying her wrong. following is. Because she even said to... No, Sha- there she there probably said, are loads of racist people yeah, in she, her following. But she even said to Charlamagne there's no way that to tell when she goes to Donald Trump are. rallies or whatever, she said there's a lot of people there that are just anti-establishment, but then there's a lot of people there also that are literally just race, just plain out racist. Yeah. Like, that, so, that is... Um, that is the truth but that's so, probably the truth in every aspect of life there's probably loads of racist people just yeah yeah and yeah I agree that's what I'm trying to say there's loads of racist people out there and I feel like they're they're coming out the woodworks now because of people like Donald yes, Trump so and that it does seem like um, they are coming out the woodworks so they're just more more apparent. they're more apparent now and they're more confident to come out now yeah. um, 
because they've got support now and they've got someone that kind of talks like them. And there's more light shone on them, I guess. Yeah, that as well. And that ideology um, and that sort of thing. So, it's yeah, so... Coverage. Um, what was I going to say? So, basically, she met up with Charlemagne. If you don't know who Charlemagne is, he's, like, a highly opinionated um, radio personality, um, Breakfast Club, American guy. So, he's a black guy. Um, so, it was quite wild seeing that these two met up and had a dinner together and talked... But um, the way Charlemagne broke it down, I understood why he done it in it. The way the way the way he put it across, he just done it in a kind of way that he's saying discussion is better than diversity in it. He thinks America need to be. You open. mean division? Yeah, to division. Yeah, that's it. He said America need to be open, and this is not just America. He was, I feel like the world needs to be like this, but need to be more open in having more discussions with people that don't have the same opinion as you. Yeah. He said. And Tommy Lauren basically said the same thing as well. Like she was like, "Oh, look, I've got black friends too," and she said, "Black penises matter." Um, and Charlemagne was saying, <laughs> "Yeah," and Charlemagne was basically saying like he thought that a lot of old white people would be angry at him. He said like when he he said he knew he was gonna get backlash from this, but he thought it was gonna be white people in it because he said he knows that old white men hate to see pretty young white girls chilling with niggas in it, mm. <laughs> which is true in it. But the thing is, the mad thing is, is that the majority of backlash that Charlemagne got was from his own people. Like black Twitter went crazy on Charlemagne. Mm. They called him the devil. They called him Tom Coonery. They Mr. Tom. They called him King Coon. Like they just <laughs> they just went in on the guy here yeah, saying that he's illuminati and shit um i just went in on the guy and i don't agree in it personally i feel like what charlemagne done is what more people need to do just mm-hmm. dis- just have a discussion if someone says something that you don't agree with just talk to them give them your opinion give them your life your viewpoint then they will give you theirs and then learn from each other and then find out things you agree on and things you disagree on and then get on with your day i wouldn't say if someone's got a different opinion from you just go and give them your opinion because i'd say ask them why they have their opinion try to figure out why they have their opinion try to figure out where they're coming from yeah so just trying to force your opinion down their throat and thinking that no yeah i don't i don't mean in the way as in like oh no you're wrong this is what it is i mean in the way as in yeah do what jay said find out why they feel that way and then you give your reason of why you feel in a different way and then just it's okay not to agree with everyone yeah it's even (laughs) preferable to be honest it's more interesting when someone's got a different opinion because then like it opens your mind up to different possibilities to different ways of thinking when someone brings an opinion that you don't agree with to the table if everyone thinks the same as you then you're just going to be on the same you know wavelength just yeah, thinking that's true. about and the same no fucking no growth. Yeah. yeah no growth whatsoever no expanding outside your your box or your norms or your comfort zone or anything mm. like that and that's this it's not good for progress that's not good for the progress of humanity definitely yeah. But a, a lot of people are adverse to hearing different opinions and a lot of people are adverse to seeing other people engage in different opinions or welcome different opinions or discuss different opinions. It's just, it's silly. But a lot of people are dumb and you're not going to change the world, to be honest. Yeah. At the end of the day, the only thing you can change is yourself. So if you want a better tomorrow, you know, be that better tomorrow. But don't expect everyone else to jump on board. Like, hope for everyone else to jump on board, I guess. But the reality is most people are fucking stupid. Mm. That is that is the reality of the situation. So, you know, you can have an intelligent conversation and, you know, try and spread that, that thought amongst your friends and your, your personal group and whatnot. But when you try and bring that to the mainstream um, stuff, you're going to get, you know, like what Charlemagne done. He, he got fucking attacked by Black yeah. Twitter. You cannot rely on Black Twitter or any people on Twitter, to be honest. You just got to gotta know who you are. You got to know who your circle is and you just got to live your life. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, yeah, finally, talking about... I don't, st- he's not the devil, though. That's fucking... No, of course not. Silly. Like, people... Like, people like, he done the right thing. People really blow things out of proportion in order to make a point. Like when people compared Donald Trump to Hitler mm. and shit like that. Like, see, if you want to criticize someone, 
be realistic, be logical, like form your opinion based on at least a few facts. Like don't just, you know, draw parallels and say, you know, this person is the monster, he's the worst person that ever existed. Because that's not true. Like good people can do bad things and bad people can do good things. Like everyone is a complex human being at the end of the day. Like no one's a caricature. Well, some people seem like caricatures, like Soldier Boy. Is that the next... Yeah. Topic that was going to go on. Yeah. Soldier Boy is a caricature of the coonery in rap. But, like, most people are fucking people at the end of the day, innit? So, trying to compare them to caricatures or try to display them as caricatures just isn't going to lend your, your opinion or your viewpoint a lot of credence. It, it, it becomes very easy to argue against, becomes very easy to break down, and it makes your... your like viewpoint or your narrative very fickle and very easy to disrupt so you know if you're gonna say you know someone does terrible things then point out those terrible things don't just say you know that person's racist or something if you're saying that person's racist what racist thing did they say and a lot of the time you don't have an example and it just it just seems like people just fling these words around call people rapist racist all this sort of shit have no examples to back it up and then mm. there's just a, a wall of outrage which is, you know, something that's really silly in, you know, society these days. Like, just loads of people being outraged about shit that doesn't really need to be outraged over. Like, focus on things that actually matter. Yeah. Like Black Lives. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about Soldier though. Because this guy, he's wild, man. Like, I've, I've been seeing bare headlines of Soldier Boy and I just ain't clicking on it. Yeah, cause so fast. I, I I don't take him serious. Yeah, I don't take. I haven't taken serious. him serious since that song he done with Fifty Cent. What was it called? Mean Mug. Mean Mug. Yeah, I haven't taken him serious since then. When he was in that, I think he had a gun and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh my, this is fucking <laughs> silly. He's just, he's just an actor now. He's just an actor. First, he was saying, you know, mm. you and mm. you know, calling people through the phone. I mean, kissing people through the phone, all that sort of shit. Mm. Fair enough. He was making his, you know, bangers and whatnot, and I was cool with that. And then all of a sudden, he's a fucking gangster. Like after making all this music, now you're a gangster. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. You had all this success, and so now you what? Now you're committing crimes. Now, what, what? What the fuck, bro? He just Soldier changes. Soldier doesn't know what he is. For he changes his narrative, yeah. but b- like between anything that's hot. Like when something else is hot, he'll become that. Mm. Like now he's a Chicago drill rapper. He, or mumble rap. What does he even do now? I don't even I don't know. know what he he does. was doing Chicago songs. drill for some time. Though. I don't listen to his songs. And all yeah. I know is that guy. Apparently, he wanted to chill with Quavo. Quavo said no. Nah. And now he's sending shots for Quavo. Um, and he also, he said that he, apparently he revoked um, Shia LaBeouf's street pass because Shia LaBeouf sent for him. And he said, this, your, your street pass is revoked. This, this Shia LaBeouf... He was holding okay. the AK in the video. Okay, first of all, I don't know how Soldier Boy's got anyone's street pass or how he's handing them out. Like, what connections does Soldier Boy have? I guess he's got peas, so maybe you can pay people off. But this is not the image that, you know, Soldier Boy should be trying to I said to you're not safe for this. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. This Shia LaBeouf thing, I think everyone's, you know, super um, overhyping Shia LaBeouf's he's skills. He's not that good. I think he's very mediocre. He's, he's all right. okay. He's all right. He's, he's not dead. Okay. He's all yeah, right. No, he's not shit. But it's because it's Shia LaBeouf. Man. Yeah, he's that okay. That people are just gassing it up. He's got, he's got like, oh, he's got pretty, you know, his bars are okay. His flow's super mediocre. Like, he hasn't got, he yeah, sounds his, like a white yeah, man rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sounds like one of those, that flops sounds it. like one of those white guys it's that don't flow rap and he's trying to rap. Yeah. Like, that's what he sounds like. Because I feel like his bars are better than his flow and delivery. Yeah, his bars are cool. Like, sometimes he's got some good right stuff there but overall he's not great it's his like, when, I'm well, see, when I'm seeing these yeah, flame emojis and stuff yeah and they're going too far blowing yeah. it out of proportion yeah, blowing yeah, it way out of proportion but I guess if you thought that Shia LaBeouf was going to be the worst rapper in the world and you heard him then maybe you know, no it's still it's okay at best I don't know why people are yeah, fucking I blowing agree. it out of proportion it's not that great but you know, Soldier Boy replying to come on, Soldier. I don't even know what he said about Soldier Boy, but yeah, I Soldier Boy is a man. walking meme to be honest. Yeah, he like, is. I, don't, I don't take him seriously at all. I was watching a a Vlad interview with him the other day. I didn't watch that. What the one where he said that he done a one million dollar deal or something, two million dollar deal or something. Nah, he was saying how he he. I think he said he was he was hustling at like age thirteen or something. He was hustling on the streets. 
<laughs> the cold hard streets and thing. And when I heard that, I was like, come on, soldier boy, like, really? Really? Let's, let's, you. Not, let's not tell lies here. <laughs> Cranking on him. And, like, I just, I just <coughs> don't believe him. I just don't believe him. I don't believe most of the stuff he says. He no, just seems like a lie. And I think, I think he, was, he also seemed leaned out of his head, or maybe that was someone else. Nah, maybe it was someone else. But yeah, I, I don't believe Soldier Boy. He just seems like a caricature of all the cunery in hip hop. <laughs> and, you know, he, he he was so much better at a time. I mean, well, he wasn't great, but he could make bangers. And now he's just, you know, shit and making shit. And he doesn't even seem like he cares to try and make Soulja a Boy's song. got a handful of songs that I really. Other than that, I think he just makes garbage music. He definitely just plops that garbage down. He just plops it out. Just shits out garbage. Like consistently, I've actually never listened to a Soldier Boy mixtape or album. Really, from start to finish, yeah, never. I listened to, I think it was his third album that didn't sell very well. I liked it, the one with speakers going hammer and that sort of shit. I think it was the De- DeAndre oh, Way. Speakers going hammer, bammer, bammer, with, bammer. Yeah, yeah, with Mean Mug on that as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think I was. I cool, think I did I think listen to that, you know? wasn't it? It was a cool album. I think and I, did to that, I think you know? since then <laughs> it's just been hella trash. He just met up with Little B. He saw what Little B was doing, just putting out, you know, songs Anything, yeah. without just fucking caring at all, just saying whatever he wanted to do, but they're not having keys, any flow. And, you know, people are listening to people it. They're saying, you know, this is flames and whatnot. <laughs> so if he's making peas of it and he can do it, fuck it, innit? But, you know, for me, n- no. It's, they, it's not. It's not. I good. don't know why, but they've got some sort of audience. I don't know there. who's trying to listen to that sort of shit. Yeah. But then again, I don't know who's trying to listen to screamo Metallica and that sort of shit. Like when people are screaming over the record like that. That yeah, ain't for me either. True, yeah. So you know, maybe you know a certain subset of people really everyone, really enjoy. Yeah, everyone whack, likes whack, different, different flavors, boy, and that's their that's their thing, man. Yeah, there's, you know, a fan base for everything, mm-hmm. really. Because, you know, if you've got a thought, then there's probably at least a thousand other people who've had that thought, so you can relate to someone. But, yeah, is that... That's all, folks. Oh, yeah, and he was dissing Quavo. Fuck, fuck Soldier Boy for this and Quavo. Quavo's, yeah, yeah, we talked about Quavo that. Quavo Houdini is the That's savior of rap. That's not even serious, man. He's, he's the real savior of rap. Not J. Cole, no. It's, <laughs> it's Quavo, yeah. This guy. Oh, Quavo's more entertaining. No man. J. Cole's a very good rapper. Let's say that. He's a very good rapper and he makes good songs and there's loads the of The only thing I'd say Quavo's better says. than J. Cole at is melodies. He's more melodic. Yeah, and that's what I like in my songs. I need melody, I need a good chorus, and you know, Quavo brings it most of the time. He brings the source. I mean Mike, J. Cole Mike was kind Dean of sourcing on, in those videos, but Mike Dean sent shots for Drake J. Cole, you know, I forgot to bring that up. Who's Mike Dean? He's a producer, right? Producer. Kanye's producer, yeah. Why did, how, he tweeted, how is he sending shots? I mean, he tweeted something about he doesn't understand why these rappers are dissing um, um, people when they can't even make a good chorus. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, if, if that was dedicated to J. Cole, that is, that is a good... It was a good was shot. It was a good I shot. I think, you know, J. Cole's choruses they're are... They're not the greatest. They're not the no. greatest. Sometimes they're mediocre. When sometimes they're Jay, serviceable. When, yeah, when you think of J. Cole, you don't think, oh, that guy makes fire hooks. He has got a couple good hooks. Got a couple okay or good hooks, but, but he's the majority of his songs do not have great choruses. No. So and, I think that was And, you know, very... Quavo's got that over him. I think Quavo's just... He outsources J. Cole. Yeah, I but think he's got way more J. Cole's source. way better than Quavo. Yeah, but J. Cole would get lost in Quavo's source. <laughs> if it came down to it, if it was well, a, if, it, if it was a source off, J Cole couldn't win. But if it was like bars for bars, J Cole would batter Quavo. Yeah. There's no, and I think he can no make chance. better songs than him. Mm, I wouldn't go. Well, it depends what kind of songs you're trying to look for. If you're trying to hear some really introspective, interesting songs that you could listen to like three weeks from now, and it'll still you know make you think or. Something that you could listen to whatever in two years. Whatever it is, fam. Whatever, the, be... whatever the type of content. If J. Cole wants to dumb it down, he could still dumb it down a no, bit. I think Quavo does that better. Song. I think Quavo does the dumb down stuff better. No, man. Yeah. I think if if J. Cole done a dumb down song like what Migos do, Migos would win. Or if, let's just say Quavo. Quavo would win if J. Cole done tried to do the same type of song as that. And J. Cole would win if Quavo tried to do the same type of song as J. Cole. But I don't want to hear J. Cole doing that trash anyway. 
Yeah, there's no need. He's, but, he's just sticking his lane and do what he does. Even if he tried to dumb it down a little bit, it would still be better. No. It would. No. It would, man. No. No. It's like, what's that song with Rihanna in the video? I don't know. On, like, his second album. Or, like, Mr. Nice Watch or them sort of songs. Mm. Not better than what Quavo does. Mm, it's a nice watch. I feel like that's a better song than anything that Quavo's done. It's just J. Cole and Jay-Z on it. What, what's the song with Fam- uh, Trey Songs? I don't think Quavo's ever done a song better than J. Cole. Ever. Quavo hasn't <laughs> done any songs by himself. Well, Migos really. has never done a song better than J. Cole. Not really a great song by himself. I don't think any of these mumble rappers or at, are, like any of them have done better songs than J. Cole. Say Something's a good song. Cocoon's a very good song. Cocoon's better than some of J. Cole's songs, definitely. I don't know what that is. You haven't heard Cocoon? Probably When not. I take drugs, I go to the moon. Probably mm. haven't heard it. Oh my God, that know. song is sick! I'm going to play it for you. I'm going to play it for you after. No, I don't want to hear it. No, it's amazing. It's amazing. You'll like it. You'll like it. <sighs> I'm right. I'm 90% sure you'll like it. If you like Bad and Beauty, Cocoon is like... Cocoon is a hit. I've probably heard it already. Cocoon is a hit. It's an undeniable hit. It's a banger, trust me. It probably is a banger, but trust J. Me. Cole's better. I, I, I'm not going to play it to you so that you can judge J. Cole over it. I'm just going to play it to you okay. because it's a good song. If I've heard it already, are you going to turn it off? I think you'll enjoy it, even if you have heard it already. All right. I just want to enjoy the song. Jesus fucking Christ. I was just like, you know what? Keep that fucking song away from me. It's fucking disgusting. I don't want to listen to that. I made my ears bleed, you bastard. What the fuck? Man? It's a good song. I don't want to hear no Migos one. Come on, man. This is a very good song. But uh, yeah, do you have any more topics? I think we're done now. Nah, that's all of them, yeah. All right, well, thanks for listening, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. Be sure to like, repost, and follow us on SoundCloud. Also, be sure to rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes. And we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, thanks for listening. Follow us on Twitter and all of that. Yep, good give stuff. Us, give us some topics and that. Yeah, yep, suggestions always welcome. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Peace out. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you